Supergirl, Multiverse Batman, The Flash, Dark Flash, Just Batman, The Flash in a Batman costume. Let's get down to business. Geeks, what's poppin'? Got the Flash movie wave here. Doing a quick unboxing and overview. I got this in a couple of weeks ago, but I wasn't able to get to it. So I just want to get them open, take a look at it, give you my thoughts. All right, if you click these DC McFarlane figures, then you know that the Keaton Batman was almost impossible to get once the pre-orders went up. They sold out immediately. Same with the Batmobile. So I was able to find the Keaton Batman at CMD store in Canada, but to make the shipping worth it, I just ordered the whole wave. Cause I was gonna get like three or four figures from the wave anyway, but it, I ended up saving money by shipping them all from Canada. Now I did get the Batmobile from another store in Canada. I don't remember the name of it. I'll review that next and then I'll tell you where I got it from because they might still have some more. If you're an inbox collector, the back actually has some pretty nifty artwork for a change. Ooh, pretty. All right, gang's all here. So we've got Ben Affleck Batman. He comes with two fists. You got Michael Keaton Batman. He comes with fists, gripping hands, a bat grappling hook, and a batarang. Then you've got Batman suit Flash. He comes with really thick lightning effects. Then you got Dark Flash, just comes with his creepiness. Then you got the mainline Flash that comes with more precise lightning bolts. Then you got Supergirl, she comes with a flight stand and she comes with an alternate set of hands, one open, one fist. Class picture looks good. Mm. Somehow I missed the memo that these Batmen were coming with soft good capes. I don't think, has McFarlane done soft goods in this line before? I don't remember seeing any. So this Affleck Batman looks pretty good. It, he looks better than he did in the box. Armor's detailed. Looks like this guy's Kevlar on. Knee pads. Underwear doesn't really stand out on this one. But yeah, good looking. Doesn't come with any accessories, so that's kind of a bummer. What is Batman without accessories, right? Now this Keaton is everything. I did not get the gold label Keaton, the unmasked one, because I thought the unmasked head sculpt was awful. I did run up on it in Target twice and couldn't bring myself to do it. But this one, like I said, I hunted it down in Canada and worth every penny. Soft good works, although I wish the cape was a little bit thicker. Outfit gives off 89 vibes for sure. He does come with accessories, but this is definitely the Keaton Batman. They nailed him this one. Now, I don't know anything about this Dark Flash, but boy, this is a nice looking figure. The textures and the details, it's almost Venom-like with all these little spikes coming off him. Head sculpt screaming, black in the mouth, and paint job on here is good. He looks like he's all black, but when you look carefully, he's got red, yellow, and brown painted throughout his upper torso. Nothing on the bottom though. But yeah, detail here, you can't sneeze at it. Achoo. Now, I can't say they I can't say that they nailed the likeness here. I think on the from the trailer or two that I saw, this neck piece was a little bit wider, more like the old Batman. So I'm not sure why they couldn't do that. Maybe if they did that, they wouldn't be able to get the head to turn. But the paint on here is good. You've got multiple tones of paint. This is what I wish you would see in the standard Marvel Legends. But look at all the paint there. Multiple tones, shading. And the colors do pop off. The maroon. And the maroon contrasted with gold accessories type. These gold accessories are a bit annoying. 
but not as annoying as these. Boy, oh boy, it was a fight to get these to stay on. But that being said, this flash is dope. They nailed this one. This outfit looks so good. The red is just the right amount of candy apple sticky. The gold paint on it really pops off. I don't see any straight marks. I don't see any straight paint. This thing is just beautiful. And he's felt and thin. Oh, there goes the accessory. To me, he looks like the character from the movie. The shoes are the real killer here. That is what I'm digging. I just wish he had thigh cuts. Face looks real good too. Now Supergirl, I'm not familiar with the actress playing her or this version of the character. I don't know what version she is. But what I will say is the legs, I'm not a fan of them. They don't really have a lot of definition to them. They look kind of stringy. When I was posing her, they just look, I don't know, something not right. Can't like look at the side. Kind of looks like the leg of an ostrich. I think they could have done a better job there. And of course the underwear here, way too big. S symbol. I wish there was some definition between here and there, but that might be the way it is in the movie. But she looks okay. Not bad. Hair has a nice wash. All right, so overall, I think this is a solid wave. My only complaints were those accessories and Supergirl's kind of lackluster. But man, I don't think you'll be upset if you pick them all up, even with Supergirl being kind of meh. Both Batmans on point. Affleck Batman could have used some accessories. The two flashes, even though I don't think the Batman suit flash is quite movie accurate, still looks good. The paint job on it is phenomenal. The accessories, when you get them to stay, they kind of set it off. That dark flash looks good, and the mainline flash is exquisite. I think the winner from this wave, though, is the 89 Batman. He's spot on. He fills that hole nicely. All right, so that was a quick unboxing and overview. Let me know what you think. Did you pick any of these guys up? Why or why not? Let me know which one's your favorite. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share a link with a friend that loves the classic like we do. Till next time, geek out.